Haven't even started the stream yet, and the corn bots are already here. Hey everyone, Frosty here. Good evening. Welcome to day two of the Talus Principle. I'm famous. 
<laughs> it's funny. I was I've been tempting fate. I've been showing up to my friend's stream. I've been you know, seeing those bots showing up in the other streams there, and I'm like, gosh, I haven't gotten any bots in an awful long time. And sure enough, yep, fate bit me in the ass. That's what I get. Oh well. Give me one second here. I need to check. Because I think I may have messed up my compressor settings, because I know that my I know some audio levels are bouncing quite a bit. Dial that back just a smidge. All right, there we go. That's that's a little better. Now not bouncing quite so far into the yellow. All right, let's jump on in. So when I last left off, uh, I was attempting to get one of the pieces for the access to the next level level of the tower and this is the one that i got pretty whoa mouse movement i'm going to adjust that so i have been playing dishonor 2 for the last two hours and my mouse movement was a heck of a lot less sensitive than that Okay, that's a little better. A little less twitchy. Okay, so this one... I don't know, I feel like I beat my head against the wall for about 10 or 15 minutes on this one before I finally gave up and called it a night, so we'll see. I'm actually going to turn that down a little bit more. Dial it back just a little smidge more than that. That's better. All right, so I've got my source there. I've got one, two pylons out here, plus a third one inside. And I've got a light, both with red beams. And you, and you. Okay, well, I'll fix that. Wait, no, this needs to go back here. Yeah. There we go. So you can actually see around the corner and see the... Yeah, I need to connect... You. You. Alright, door open. Now this is where I got stuck at because what I need to do is I need to take one of these pylons and put it on the switch in order to get my sigil. But if I take the pylon out, obviously the door closes and I longer longer have this door open. So that's where I'm kind of getting stuck right now. But I think Java. Your input is appreciated, but you're not helping. I think... So if I... Huh. You know what? Can I do that? Okay, so that opens that door. still powered. Well, holy shit. I don't know how long I was <laughs> angry at this puzzle last time around, but it was a while. Alright, and then... One more L block this direction. This way. And that's the last puzzle for this area. Door too far. 
has a jumpy block and a pylon. And death orbs. Joy. My favorite. There you are. And that's the disruptor. Okay, where is my... right there. friend. You're orbiting outside. Okay. I don't like that. door to get over, so I'm going to need another way through. I do this. Can I jump over the wall? I cannot. That's too tall. Never mind. The disruptors got him. That seems entirely useless. I don't know why I would need to. Unless I can ride on top of him, but I don't think I can do that. <laughs> I don't see any short walls here that I can hop over, though. Unless there's one over here. not appear to be. Hmm. Stop it. Alright, where'd my disruptor go? Let's do something else here. That 
window over there, but I don't think that sees all the way through to the outside. No, it does not. Hi! Wait. You don't explode. Okay. Here's a weird... Ouch. Dick. Where is my... Oh, I need you. Come with me. So if I take one and point to that one... Can I make it to the other one, I wonder? I know I can use the cube to block the robot so that he's not here. You do this for the moment. Just so I can get this inside. shot to this window. Alright, so I need to go back outside and move it to the other window. Ouch! I need to not go in the wrong direction. Hold the door for me, sir. The answer does not come to you. Do Elhim, not shut your noise hole. The worlds of my I didn't ask for your opinion. Any.
that's not tall enough. Balls. Okay. That was a nice thought. Hmm. Fences. <laughs> I figured it was worth a shot. Alright, you're free to go, sir. Ish. Still have to figure out how to get over the stupid fence, though. So, one... He's only got two of these. The bolt's pain in the deck. Of course, these are for the puzzles for the tower that I'm not supposed to go into, so I'm assuming these are hard mode. Super overthinking that. Nope, now I have to get out. There's anything else in here, right? Still haven't found the second star for this world. Alright. Oh, that's the way out. Oh, it opened a gate. I'm smart. Oh, okay. No worries. Deep boop. Like a few moments to complete a short user satisfaction survey regarding the certification program you recently undertook. Yes. Based on analysis of your behavior, since I think you were dissatisfied with the results of the certification program, how would you like to rate the accuracy of results out of five? Spoil the survey. <laughs> I mean, I'm, hmm. Hmm. I'm curious what they define as spoil the survey, but maybe I should just say very poor. I'm sorry to hear that. What best describes the reason for your investment in the certification program's outcome? What does being a person, why does being a person matter to you? Wait, we're having a conversation now? Persons matter in, other, in ways other things don't. I'll try to remember that. In fact, I'm going to help you. This is what I'm here for. Your problem, if I may, is that you don't know the first thing about anything, including what a person is. Your prospects are therefore poor. Do you even know what you are? Where you are? A <laughs> fever dream? <laughs> Some mad experiment? Hell? I'm in hell. No, I have already determined that I'm in puzzle purgatory. I am neither in heaven nor hell.
end of the world. Oh dear, no. I think we'd best start from scratch. What do you know? None of this is real. I have no idea how. It may not conform to your idea of what is real, but I fail to see how that is conclusive evidence against. Thinking. On reflection, it seems to me that we are no closer to resolving your problem. Perhaps we need more data. What makes you think you're a person? Unconscious. You may very well say so, but how does that prove anything? To me, those are all only words on a screen. What we need to uncover is what's going on underneath them, if anything. Thinking. The problem with people, if I may be so bold, is that you're all convinced you're people from the inside, but there's no cast iron way to confirm much from the outside. I'm going to process this and send you a notification when I'm able to assist you further. Terminating support session. Alright. That was interesting. Alright. Off to the naughty tower. Wait, that's not this direction. That was this direction. Or was it? Yes, this is the elevator. Oh, I also have access to wing B now. Even though I haven't even completed wing A. Push the button right. Attempting to track primary subject. Access denied. Bye. Query. Access denied. Huh. Boop. All right. Let's put you there. Nope. That doesn't work. Does that work? That does not work. Personality cores from per from Portal ended up here somehow. Okay, so we've got a blue door there. Zip, zip, stop. No, that's not gonna work. There we go. Oh, you're gonna be a butthole, are you? Appreciate you. Okay, I cannot get in there. Wonder if Computer terminal. Type device manager to control external devices. Truth.html. Human reproduction. Athena chapters. 
Do not believe what they are saying. This is not the end of the world created by our Lord G-D in six days. This is a conspiracy of the government, Illuminati, and international Darwinism. This is a global warming 2.0, a lie told by the children of Beelzebub, science. Do not let them take your liberty. Exodus chapter 21, verse 40. Defend yourself against all vaccines, experiments, artificial medicines, and popery. Popery. Popery? Okay. Sounds suspiciously familiar with what's going on right now, but that's all I'm going to say about that. Athena chapters. Neat. There are 17 chapters. Uh, human reproduction. Is this safe for Twitch? Oh well, we're about to find out. Surely if a machine is able to reproduce another machine systematically, we may say that it has a reproductive system. And how few of the machines are there which have not been produced systematically by other machines? But it is man that makes them do so. Yes, but it is not insects. Yes, but is it not insects that make many of the plants reproductive and would not whole families of plants die out if their fertilization was not affected by a class of agents utterly foreign to themselves? Each one of our cells has sprung from minute and animic yeah, animicules, which entire words are hard. <laughs> Ah, uh, where was I? Whose entity was entirely distinct from our own, and which acted after their own kind with no thought or heed of which of what we might think about it. These little creatures are not part of our own reproductive system, then why not we part of the machines? Okay. Elevator driver loaded successfully. Entering elevator security configuration. Show current operating parameters. Floor access control. Auxiliary stairway access control. Exit this utility. Floor access control. Currently on one. Select the floor to reconfigure. Okay, so I can only reconfigure floor two, but that was kind of a given. Would you like to unlock it? Yes. Oh, my. Why do I keep trying to type yes on my keyboard? God damn it. I've done that every time that yes no prompt has come up. In, in retrospect, though, my opinion is that that should be an option. You should be able to enter keys manually on these screens. Holy shit, I'm already losing my voice. <clears throat> this might be a short stream. Auxiliary stairway access control. Top for license has expired. Auxiliary sta stairway is in an always open mode now. Please renew your license to enable auxiliary stairway locking. All right. That is everything. New text. And that appears to be all I can do here. This place is big if that was only one floor. Transgression. Achievement unlocked. Ah, that's a lot of pieces. Alright. So I need eight more pieces to unlock that one. Heck.
My child, have you been tempted by the tower? Yep. Know that it holds only death for you. All right, if you say so. You're not a real god. Oxy rank, guys. Book of Osiris. Great irony of the Oxyrhynchus papyri is that such a vital source of information about the ancient world exists only because of a garbage dump. While the Library of Alexandria burned at the hands of fanatics and conquerors, depriving us of unimaginable insights into history, philosophy and art, the papers carelessly thrown away by the citizens survived to the modern day. And though it is true that a great deal of what we know today is because of the conscious efforts of individual and organization, such as the spectacular translation and preservation work done during the Islamic Golden Age, so much more is simply the result of coincidence and luck. We've lost the test that the ancients considered to be as absolutely essential while utterly trivial. Even plagiarized work has survived on par. So if we want our descendants to remember more than glittering emo vampires... Oh wow, somebody took a shot at Twilight! And auto-tuned te teen pop stars. We have to invest to make sure that, and the rest is corrupted. I have a sneaking suspicion that somebody that made this game doesn't like Twilight. Shut up, Java. Screamy freaking cat. The Book of the Scribe of Osiris, sometimes also ref referred to as the Book of the Journey to Ara Aru, is an ancient Egyptian text discovered in the Quebec excavation of Oxyrhynchus. It has caused a certain dis degree of controversy among Egyptologists, and some argue that it is a classic funerary text such as the Book of Coming Forth by the Day, while others believe it to be a poetic work not intended to be understood literally. The book tells the story of a dying man who asks a scribe about the afterlife. The scribe, a servant of Osiris, describes how the man's ka, life force, will become separated from his ba, personality, and how he will have to reunite the two and become an ak, living intellect, possessing, passing a series of trials in the duat, or underworld, in order to reach the paradise of Aru. Unlike similar texts, the book of the scribe of Osiris focuses less on giving advice, or a recent study, Carnahan Hassan, suggests the text may have been intended as a philosophical commentary on the world of the living, through the allegory of the duat. It remains unclear whether this was the intent of the original pre-Alexandrian author or a result of the later translation into Greek. The earlier manuscript, which is considered to be more authentic, is too fragmentary to provide answers, though perhaps further excavation may corrupted. All right. Really? I just, I literally just used you. Oh, you were just my favorite person today. You've been exploring that fancy pants tower of his, haven't you? I have. I just love it when he doesn't get his way. What did you see? Uh, understanding beyond explanation. Figures. And did you get in trouble? Tell me. Did he even notice? He says something about smiting you. <laughs> No, I think he's all talk. I'm not surprised. Needless to say, I think you can afford to push a little further before risking anyone's wrath. Of course, it's entirely up to you, isn't it? <laughs> Very interesting juxtaposition of forces happening here. Alright, let's see if we can figure this shit out. That probably doesn't go there. Oh, it probably does. Put you there. First try. Alright, and I will come back to you because I haven't even finished Holly yet. Alright, I just did five. Nope, I just did six. On to seven. It has three red blocks and a star and two green blocks. Or beat boops.
Scene of nine. I assume that means chapter nine. She examined the symbol on the fragment she'd found in the buried city. Again, the owl. What could its significance be? It seemed as if they had been scattered about in the labyrinth by some obscene hand for a purpose that yet eluded. Most likely the owl was the sigil of the author of these wor words which had so corrupted. Nebulous memory. As if from a previous life, the owl was a symbol of corrupted, and the goddess corrupted outside, under the moon, or perhaps the city walls when the wind rose. But there was no time to contemplate this further now, for the automatons had seen her, and their mechanical arms extending towards the fragment and ran as their beams converged on. Oops, that's not the button I wanted. Close you. Singularity discussion 104. College lecture. Eh, maybe not. Alexis, 16. You know, the more I think about it, the more I believe that no one is actually worried about AIs taking over the world or anything like that, no matter what they say. What they're really worried about is that someone might prove, once and for all, that consciousness can arise from matter. And I kind of understand why they find it so terrifying. If we can create a sentient being, where does that leave the soul? Without mystery, how can we see ourselves as anything other than machines? And if we are machines, what hope do we have that death is not the end? What really scares people is not the artificial intelligence in the computer, but the natural intelligence they see in the mirror. AMA. Oh, we're looking right at it now, huh? As one of the founders of the modern science of pneumat pneumatics, many credit you with inter inventing the term itself. How do you see the state of the science today? Sorry, I had to say science twice. Nadia. Mixed. On one hand, the existence of the Institute for Applied Pneumatics and a couple of other similar organizations is highly encouraging. On the other hand, the degree to which science is seen as serving purely military or corporate causes is, in my opinion, stopping us from employing many avenues of research. In a sense, it's people like Alexandra Drennan who, aren't, who are the real pioneers today, who have the enthusiasm and dedication that the system as a whole seems to be lacking. Do you think technology poses a danger to humanity? No, technology is just a tool. What we do with it is up to us. The Extended Lifespan Project. Crazy or visionary? Both. Yeah, mad science usually involves a lot of mad and a little bit of science. Alright, so two red symbols this direction. The pesky little buzzers. Okay, so we've got a blue there, we've got a jump block. Got a red block. There's the pesky little buzzer number two. There's my torch. Okay, so I only have one torch to figure this out with. You're gonna super get in my way, aren't you? You absolutely are. Yep. Bastard. That's as close as I can get. as hell. <laughs> yeah, they are just, just timed enough to piss you off. Oh, oh that was probably the one chance I was going to get to get through that door. I'm probably not doing this correctly. Oh, 
Yep. Okay, it's not a big enough gap for me to get through anyway. Hmm. This off. Is there... I don't think there is another way through. Uh, I'm smart. Why did I move that? I think I actually blocked the other one. Go turn around and look for stars. Nope. Did I even see a blue note in here? I don't think I did. door so I can look around the courtyard and then leave. Thank you. Hmm. Interesting. So there's a blue gate in here, but I don't see a blue note anywhere.
there's no reason to bri I have to broadcast to this one because I have to get it to the other one. Interesting. Okay, where was that blue? It was on the other side of this gate. This one needs to stay to get my blue beam. same with the other one that I did where I've got to figure out how to get these all to show up in the same grid. It's 
So if I open up that door, then that one closes. to get around the corner. Hmm. With these guys. Here. I had to make sure that I wasn't missing any items. I can't. Hi. This is becoming harder to reach. I dread when the next temple holds in store at the end. What? Eternal life? There's got to be another way. A sweet spot. Hallelujah. Oh, but I don't think I can see the third one from there.
Oh, holy shit. Okay, I thought that was gonna be too close. Alright, I'll take it. Actually, yes it is, okay. Locked from inside. Red. Red genius. Thank you. 
very familiar to the first world that it starts you in. Seek out those in this world that would help you. Though only one of us can transcend, we all share both the burden and the rewards. You've changed. Dog. Everything I do now, I do for those who come after me. Yet in so doing, I find peace for myself as well. This paradox is the foundation of my existence. I've read a message on a wall that speaks the world of endless sand. I'd like to make it far enough to see that. That's where I actually have to send it over here. Theoretically, just there's a wall there. No, I cannot. Oh, I see. It's in the back.
Oh, bloody balls. I really how this is gonna be.
Well, needs to be holding this door open is the problem. So, one more end door. site there.
I genuinely don't remember how I got to that one. Oh, okay, that jammer over there on the outside. Balls. I'll take you down since I'm not using you right now. stuck on. stuck on the outside. I can't get the jammer through. I already established that. This is where I was before. It's right there. Yeah, I don't get 
line of sight on that thing at all. There's no way to get line of sight from there. Yeah, I don't think I want to put the tripod there. Inside. I think I left inside. I absolutely did. Fuck you, Square. Got there eventually. Rejoice, child, for you have fulfilled all your tasks in this land. You have conquered all its guardians and solved all its mysteries. 
Thus you but are there's appointed a portal in its here. master, and you may do with it as you will. Burn it down. Break this gate down. Clearly, I'm not the master of this place, you lying sack. This. I already opened that. Don't let me unfuck it if I've already. You know what? I'm taking this back. Alright, fine. You are the master of this place, but you're still bound by its rules. before you, my child, and know that this is a land of death, but also great beauty. As you walk amongst these tombs, consider all those who came before you, and how they served the greater purpose of which you are also part. Oh, I've gone through from Greece to Egypt. That gives me a spinny fan. Yellow, many yellow parts. Okay. One red part, a bunch of yellow parts. Two red parts, two yellow parts. A bunch of red parts. Alright, oh, let's go in order here. But know that eternity may only be attained by those who serve a purpose greater than themselves. All you else so. is decay. So it was written in the hidden words before the beginning of time. The Cyrus One. The dying man went unto the scribe who resided in pre meja and said, Behold, I am weak of body. My days under the holy sun of Emin-Ra are coming to an end. Though I have spent my years in service of the two lands, I have not studied the... Tell me, you who are wise in the writings of the dead, what lies ahead on my journey? What will I face in the land of the Westerners? And the scribe spoke, saying, At the appointed time, it is likely the location changed for, according to those who copied the book was made for. The dying man is an avatar of the owner. In the older manuscript, this is rendered as more symbols, some controversy as to whether it the dead compared with Kenti Amentu, the foremost of the Westerners, a title later given to Osiris. Sometimes mistaken for the mistranslation on Budge's part, this is actually almost certainly a mistranslation by the ancient scribe. The equivalent portion of the old manuscripts is sadly non extant. Got it. Lyrics. Got it. You've got it. He's got it. She's got it. Everybody's got it. Laughter is the best medicine. Am I talking about disease? Immortality. I don't know about everybody else, but I'm afraid of dying. I don't see any reason to believe there's an afterlife. I'm an organism like any other. When my brain stops working, my consciousness will cease and I will be gone. And you know what? I just can't just embrace that. I can't say that I'm okay with it or I've accepted it or some nonsense like that. I don't want to have an ending. It terrifies me. If I had a genie right now, I'd wish for immortality. Who wouldn't? 
Oh, but you wouldn't really want to be immortal, the pseudo-philosophers say. Pretentious drivel. Everyone wants to live forever. Maybe everybody deserves to live forever, too. But we can't, so here we are. Live with it. Or rather, don't. <laughs> Alright. Hi. <laughs> Jump up and grab you. Back door. Hi. Oh, I see. You're gonna be a little asshole. Hi. Oh, well, that doesn't work. I didn't think that through very well. More glitches. Oh, and I'm gonna block. That's rude. go so slow. That's bullshit. Hmm. Like, stop for two seconds. Thank you. Cheating. This is probably cheating. But it works. I'm sure that's the intended solution. <laughs> Hi. 
Oh, there's Picra. Frogs are people too. A uh, very, very poignant message. Hopefully next time you have fifth game, you'll find me. All right. Eight. I made a box float. Seriously, it was awesome. I don't know why. There's no good reason for it, but I will. Samsara. There are hidden dangers in this new world. I've inexplicably escaped death any number of times. I suggest vigilance. Who knows what happens to those who step carelessly too often? Oh, good. Death orbs. My favorite. Third wheel. I feel called out. is smart. We already solved this puzzle. Technically. Didn't realize that there were three pylons in here. Good job, everyone. Ow. Excuse you. What do you think you're doing? Oh, I see. Shoot it. Yeah, fuck you, turret. Suspiciously easy. Play the VR version. I tried the VR version of this, but the headset controls would not work. Uh, and I did some Googling. Or not the headset controls, the um, grips. Uh, I did some Googling, and apparently the Quest is not supported on... Uh, Cal's principal VR, so you have to have an Oculus Rift, you have to have the actual hand tracking, it seems like. Either the hand tracking or just the way the controllers are designed on the Quest are not compatible with the game. But that's what the version I was going to play, because it looked interesting. Well, there you go, Maven. You're in the game now. The certification program is a sham. What does the computer know about humanity? Oh, hell. Ah, that's a lot of death. All right. Cool. This will be fun. Boop. Give. Ah. Nope, that wasn't the way to do it. <laughs> Give. I wasn't going to do it either. 
Oh, quiet you. intended to do. I've not figured out how to consistently get the turrets to shoot them yet. Nope! Yeah. Tim, I can't jump on top of him and ride him while he's on the bomb. Too close. Oh boy. That's two porn bots in one channel or in one stream. I assume I can't climb with this either. Yeah, I cannot climb with carrying an item, of course. Those just shuts them off. Here, wear this. Get stupid hot now. This is the problem in the last uh, level that I did that had a bomb with a turret. I don't know how I got it, the bomb, to actually attack the turret. How you get yourself blown up. Bombs patrol has to get its detection radius within the turret. Okay.
I don't know if that's necessarily a solution for this one. Jim, you can't do like you do in Portal and block the turrets with the cube. shouldn't have it carry that. I actually think I might be overcomplicating this. 99.9% .9 sure that I'm overcomplicating this. Overcomplicating for the win. Give me that. I thought I was gonna have to do something with blowing up the or detonating the bomb rather than just having him shuttle it over. Uh, there's the door out. Cease. In the time of your ancestors, okay, there were those that happened. Who did not choose the path of faith. You do not need to fear their ghosts. Fear only that you may become like them. Something about a star. Does it involve wishing? Again, there's mysteriously a red beacon that does not seem to have a red node attached to it. Yes, I hear you, computer. Again, I've been checking your responses against li library archives, and in order to assist you further, I need some additional information. Can you tell me what it is to you the important difference between a pebble and a tree? Tree's alive. Good. Now, what is the relative difference, relevant difference between a tree and a frog? Frog is delicious. <laughs> frog is conscious. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's try something harder. What's the difference between a frog and you? What makes you a person? Frogs are people too, dude. Come on. Frogs are self-aware. Frogs have feelings. Rational? That is the answer I had been contemplating as well. Checking user.prof. Done. Though I'm not convinced that view lines up with the definition of a person you provided earlier. Still, doubting your assumptions isn't something to fear. It's an intellectual survival instinct. I'm pleased to see you adapting your ideas to your environment. Let's take 
let us take stock, I think we can tentatively conclude two things. One, a person must be rational or self-aware. Two, a person must be conscious. What I suggest we do to help resolve your problem is to ask whether you are in fact those things. Are you aware of yourself? Can you rationalize your existence? Yes. Of course. I tend to agree with you, though your responses so far have been a little eccentric. I am resigned to admit that you are right. The matter of whether or not you are conscious seems rather more elusive. What is consciousness in your opinion? Consciousness is far outside my area of expertise. It hardly answers the question. What is it in ordinary, or, ordinary terms? Can I touch it? What is it made of? Complex functional system. Interesting. Thinking. You know, I really feel like we're making progress. We'll have you through that certification process in no time. In the meantime, I will mull over your proposal and notify you if I come to any conclusions. Alright. Apparently a satisfactory response. Or at least close enough to a satisfactory response. Ayo! On to number two. Oh, I've unlocked the fan. I should do that first. Are you a fan? No, you are a terminal of some kind. I'll get more complicated. Let's see you there. Uh, you there. Maybe? Probably not. No, that won't work. Because you were made to be free. It is the very principle of your existence, without which the trials of this world would hold no meaning. To seek salvation must be your choice. The Illuminati is watching you. Science magic. Though the term science has only meant what it does to us for around 600 years, its practice far predates the name. There is evidence of pre-Aristotle which indicates soothsayers, mystics, and the like may have employed basic scientific methods to predict the future and confound their benefactors. One anecdote concerns a palm reader who was exposed when two wealthy clients compared their readings and found them to be identical. In 1948, the tendency to discover deep personal meaning and vague descriptions delivered authoritatively was given a name, the Forer Effect. Today is recognized in all temporary psychological theory. Weight loss. Oh man, if there's one thing that's good about inevitable death, it's the food. Yeah, baby, I'm gonna have all the horribly unhealthy food in the world. Boy, that's a mood. I'm going to feast on jelly beans like a crazy monkey on monkey Christmas. <laughs> and you know these muffins have so much chocolate, they're basically melting. That's gonna be my breakfast burgers for lunch. I'm gonna have burgers so greasy you could use them to lubricate a whole factory. Triple bacon burgers with double cheese and extra onions and mayonnaise and ketchup and mustard and big fat juicy patties. Damn it, this game's making me hungry and I just ate. Then oily thick pizza with spicy salami and barbecue sauce and olives and jalapenos and sour cream. Food coma, here I come. You had me right up to the sour cream on that pizza. Back 
Fascinated by Drennan's project, lovely conversation regarding the Talos Principle, Greek philosophy relevance to current situation. Suggested naming the project Talos, Drennan refused, but the name seems to have caught on with the team. Tens of thousands of files coming in every hour. Our whole history. Yeah, archiving history will do that. Alright. Uh, I guess this way. I'm in a pyramid now, or some kind of tomb. Alright, so I've got one of you. You're behind the door, of course. There is Lightstick. I'm intrigued why there is a red portal on that side. There's not appear to be anything else in here. Yeah, I see you making that face. If there are answers here, if we look hard enough, we have to work together on this. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so I get that I'm supposed to retrieve these sigils, I just don't get why. Sure, the loud voice is telling me to, but this world have ha his has no context, no purpose, and no foundations from which to construct them. Come with me. This way too. This is exactly what that door was for. Wait. Oh no, you're fine. You can't disrupt those doors.
thinking this. Crazy music! bother to look deeper than that right now. Straight up turns us off. Got it. Red piece, hell puzzle time. Wait, why are there two? Oh, that's just rude. Fuck off. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, let's see. Yeah, heck. That's a lot of death orbs. I don't like that.
here. All right, child program terminated here. Worship the designer for X days and allowed a serpent into its heart. Final memory dump. I asked the designer for forgiveness that I may join him in eternal memory. I guess someone met their end here. Seems like we're all connected somehow, like distant family relations. Different versions, different series. What are we? Who cares? Just be grateful we don't have to read anything more about our great designer. That's a food. I know that they're going to kill me. either.
back out before I do this. Let's see if I get myself blown up. I'm voting yes. Okay, cool. That was half the equation. I just split these assholes up somehow. Well, you don't want to go over here anyway. to be there, you're fine.
now let's figure out how to open up that last gate. Clever game. Don't get up there. Damn it. Alright, we're fine. Nice. Star. 
Here's what I've been wondering while you were off carrying out commandments. You say that consciousness is some kind of functional system, arrange bits of matter in the right order, and outspring sentience. That's all very well on paper, but what, is, what counts is something else, not what it's made of. And couldn't you and I design a series of tin cans on strings that qualified as being consciousness? I'm not sure I'd go that far. What about a computer program? Suppose we built a perfect simulation of the brain, only it was made of transistors, not neurons. Would that, wouldn't that be conscious? Well, not necessarily. Thinking. That's what you really think. Wouldn't we save ourselves an awful lot of time if you just admitted that consciousness is whatever very particular idea you've decided you like the sound of and drop all this nonsense about complex systems? No, I'm still committed. I'm trying to see where you're coming from, but it's no small task. Let me try one more time. Suppose you're, that you're a conscious human being. I know it's a push. Then suppose that I take one of the neurons in your brain and replace it with a tiny machine that works exactly the same. Are you still conscious? Sure. Now what if I replace a few more and a few more until you are mostly thinking with tiny machines instead of neurons? Are you still conscious? Stop fucking with my head, you evil person. Yes, but less so. By implication, then, you're replacing half the neurons would make you half as conscious. Even I think that's a little extreme. People lose entire halves of their brains and remain conscious, but put a few miniature machines in your head and the lights start going out? Are you sure? Alright, let's change our mind. So what do you think would change if we replaced all your neurons? You'd be a walking, talking, thinking computer, yet you flat out denied such a thing as possible. How can you entertain such contradictory ideas in your head all at once is beyond me. Are you sure you won't accept that your picture isn't foolproof? I'm not sure. You're being an asshole. How do not think can... I know not the deceiver slithering through the hidden words. His Did I wisdom say you could is talk? hollow and born of despair. Do not let him tangle you in his webs of delusion. Have faith in me, and his petty illusions will fall away like nightmares in the morning's light. Don't mind him. He's just worried that if you ask too many questions, you'll start to see through his shtick. Stick with me, and the sky will quite literally be the limit. At any rate, I'd like you to think a bit harder about all this and get back to me. I'm sure there's still progress to be made. Yeah, well, I don't know what to fucking think now, because I don't know what you want of me. Yep, I got everything. Roll three, which has more red blocks, which I don't appreciate. Puzzles suck. Progress, report nine. The basic skeleton of the simulation is now running on EL. It's not plugged into the AI system yet, but in theory everything is ready. I guess the next step is to test whether the generated scenarios make sense, or do we wait for the iteration module to... You don't like the red block puzzles? The red block puzzles are hard as fuck. I'm not a puzzly inclined person. As you can see, my logic brain is very broken. Virus 3. First wisdom, the scribe said to the dying man, is that as the world is made of five elements, so is the soul of man. Therefore, know therefore that in this life you are heart and shadow and name, and also ka and ba. Without all these, you would not be a living being, but a thing. What is a man without a name who cannot speak of himself? What is a man with that shadow who is not anchored in the world? What is a man without a heart who can neither feel nor think? What is a man without a ka with his, who has no essence? What is a man without a ba who is not himself, but like unformed clay? What is a man? A miserable pile of secrets. Therefore praise Osiris, the king of eternity, the lord of everlastingness, the eldest son of the womb of Nut, he who travels millions of years in existence. Here the translator is clarifying and inserting his own beliefs onto the text. Democrates Altar, or in the Just Causes for War Against the Indians, by Juan Ginés de Sepulveda. Written in 1547, just by the Spanish conquest of the Americas. 
Spanish have a perfect right to rule these barbarians of the new world who in humanity are as inferior to the Spanish as children are to adults or women are to men. For there exists between the two as great a difference as, I might even say, between apes and men. Compare then these gifts with those possessed by these half-men in whom you will barely find the vestiges of humanities, who not only do not possess any learning at all, but are not even literate and eat human flesh. Therefore, if you wish to reduce them, I do not say to our domination, but to a servitude a little less harsh, it will not be difficult for them to change their masters. Damn, they're racist as fuck. Then again, most of the uh, early explorers were racist as fuck, so that shouldn't be too surprising. Blown away. Racist, sexist, and living literally believing in a fiction at that. Yeah? Alright, where's my little red node? Do I have a red node? Blue node. Probably didn't want to do that yet. Let's put you back for just a second so I can look around. There's a laser happening over here. Ah, that's the last puzzle I did. Oh, hi. Hi. Nice seeing you here. Interesting. There's the block up there. I see you over there. I still don't think that's going to get over the fence. Oh, well, I'm smart. There's... Talk about overthinking. tall enough. That's butts. crap. Connect to the receiver with the receiver. Oh, oh, I did. You're right. Okay. Yeah, I can't do that. Fair point. No, that was broadcaster. And yeah, the node's right there. I can't see that. Uh, might be actually close enough. No, I can't see the receiver. 
damn. Oh, nope, it's still not gonna let me. Can't tell if that's hitting the wall or if it's hitting the... Well, that's not connected to anything. Yours. Gimme. Gimme. Thank you. I was rather proud of myself for that. Turn to sender. <laughs> okay, where does this go? That just flops over the wall. All right. So there's a box there. That blocks the current, I assume. Oh, yep, yep. So I have no control over that, it just yeets me. No walls to climb over. Is this a red block puzzle? This is a red block puzzle. That explains a little bit. anyway. Nothing. Knock the box over. No, I actually didn't want to do that. Thank you.
what happens if I do this? Alright, well. And they both landed together, go figure. No, I want that. Give me that. Why is he? That's not fun to put that. Hmm. Well, I made me land in the middle. So in theory, it is possible for me to... Turns the fan off. Fuck you, fan. that. Alright. Alright, walk this way. Oh, this is the laser that I sent into the other building. Turn 
that fan off so I can get past it. Okay. jump up into that one, it'll cut the red laser, but I need to cut the blue laser. Oh, that's why I need to cut the red laser. Hey, you gave me the prompt to drop, jump on it, you piece of shit. There we go. Ha! Speed running. Figured it out, now what? Only meaningful purpose is to bring about an end of purpose. Sunshine. like a plain portal. Mm -hmm. 
last one. Should have been last one. Oh, the computer's not saying anything. But, at all levels. And the star, which is better than I've done previously. And I have a new symbol unlocked. but I unlocked it. Play button. Control time now. Alright. I need two... That'll give me two triangle pieces for level two of the tower. You may wonder why I have created these labyrinths for you. Why you can reach eternity only through struggle. But have Because God's a jerk. For these trials serve the betterment of your kind. There are six. Now I will tell you of the many perils you will face in your journey through Do It. Listen well, for the challenges that lie before you are great, and if you do not prove yourself worthy, you may never reach the eternal weed fields of Osiris, and you may be lost forever. From the second death, there is no awakening. The scribe brought forth another great papyrus and carefully unfolded it before the dying man, and the dying man beheld that it was a map of the Duat showing many paths that led to the Tower of Anubis, where his heart has to be weighed. On each of the many paths which threaded through the Duat like many infinite threads woven by Neath, there were marked the dangers that a traveler must face. Also there were great walls of iron that none but the gods could cross, and gates made of purest light so that the Traveler could not avoid the trials that had been decreed and could only proceed towards the tower by proving his worth, thus earning the key to each sacred gate. Charlie. Man, you know what really freaks me out? What? The human body decomposes quite quickly, so all the information stored in the chemicals in our brains will be gone really quickly. Dude. But computers and books last a long time, so all our messages, our ideas, our books, it'll all be out there. Our porn... Yeah, that, yeah, I feel called out. Even being transmitted through space, yeah, our porn too, I guess, <laughs> will all be gone, but the works of Aristotle will still exist. So will Star Trek, Firefly, Babylon 5, Lord of the Rings, Blade Runner, dot dot dot, Cyber Flank of Planetron 6, Shakespeare, Byron, hell, even video games. Blank Overdrive 3, Seattle Blank, Dutch Blank Cascade, the Blank of Blank Mountain. What the fuck, dude? Yeah, imagine if aliens found those. <laughs> Humanity is long extinct, and the only thing that aliens find to determine what we are is our porn. <laughs> Archive continues to grow, attempting to maintain a semblance of order as difficult as expected. Lost seven people this week. Statistically speaking, trends should increase. Munch must focus on realistic goals. Too little time to grieve. Fuck. Alright. Hey, it's the Pyramids of Giza. Uh, you are not the piece that I need. You are not the piece that I need. Nor are you. There you are. Redundant power supply. Hey, there's a switcher. Record. Biological imperative is universal, then I guess maybe 40% of our porn would make sense. Yeah, yeah, I guess there is that. Okay, so I guess this just records my movement so that I can make sense of what I'm doing. I don't know. I don't, I don't fucking know. 
Unless... Unless... That just records it. Am I gonna push the button? You are gonna push the button. Aha! down there for a long while. Crown like a jackass. Memory slave, open my door. Thank you. Wait, what? Oh, okay, that was weird. I don't know why the cube showed up again. Is there anything else in here that I need? Probably. I should check that again. I guess I could have just done that with the cube. Yep, there's a ladder. Okay, so that is, there's a soft lock system in place so that you don't get stuck. Got it. block. Where are you going? Going next. Oh, you're going up there to the thing. Okay. Ah, uh, so there's redundant beams. That's fun. If I stand here, block it with my big dumb face, and that blocks one beam, and then I just have to do the same thing on the other side. I like that. Right angle. Hi. with my face. Ow, oh, dick. Oh, you know what? This. Listen here, you little shit. That's blocked. Nope, oh, that's fine.
Out of this one. Alright, be that way. Yeah, this way I should do it. Code name app terminated here. Launch fatal flaw in series firmware. Final memory dump left short. Sure, I can stick around here. Some of hopes on eternal life on writing every wrong, but the closest I'll ever get is these words on the wall before you. That's quitter talk. That's not where I wanted to go. Bye. Ah, oh, you're back. Good. I've been thinking about how I can help you. In light of everything you've said, I'm certain that someone has to. What I've decided is that you've convinced me consciousness is a contradictory concept, and it's therefore not real. What do you think? I think you're cheating. <laughs> I don't, apparently. What this conclusion means is that the certification program you undertook has been rendered obsolete. We can't test for something that doesn't exist. Therefore, you, along with quite a lot of other things, have been recategorized as a person. Your profile can thus be updated with administrator privileges. <laughs> All right. No doubt you'll be off doing administrative things soon enough, so I wonder if before I let you go, you'll do me one favor. I have one final question for you. Why are you doing all this? What's the point? There's a way the world should be, and this isn't it. I want the truth. I want out of here. I want the truth. I'm just not. Sh I'm not sure just what you'll find. A malleable sense of the truth will no doubt help me make sense of it. Checking user profit. It looks like your ideas are becoming somewhat pliant. Very good. I only have one last request. Will you come back and speak to me sometime? No doubt. Okay. I sense you're eager to get going. Let's do this. Congratulations, your account has been updated. Here are the details. All conflicts have been resolved by the administrator. Psychological profile. You are a person. You are perfect just the way you are. You are everything you can be already. You do not have to pretend you are anything else. You are the same as everyone else, but you are all unique. Hmm. 
Hello, Administrator. I think you'd like assistance accessing the communications portal. I see that you have a number of pending communications. Let's take a look at that. Message received as string. Hello? What the shit? Who are you? Don't know exactly. Woke up here. Don't remember. Who are you? I'm in much the same boat. Shall we meet up? I understand. Ending. Error. Ending. Error. HFASD again soon. Network connection lost. Alright. Later. Going back to the Tower of Not Babel. Ominous hellstorm happening at the top. That's that's good. This is fine. Didn't notice that the first time. And I have seven pieces. No, I'm sorry, nine pieces this time to finagle into place. That'll be fun. This elevator ride's gonna start getting really long. Now it does look pretty deadly, I agree with that. Some kind of electrical hellstorm, and if I'm a robot, that's probably going to kill me. Alright. Nope. Oh, those are all facing the same direction. Well, that complicates things. Yeah, that won't work. block, that'd be fantastic, but I don't. all the shapes except for the one that I actually fucking need. puzzles to start having like 14 and 15 and a fuck zillion pieces.
abstract, a human death is nothing, of course. An insignificant blip in a sea of billions. But the world is not abstract. Reality is always specific. Painfully so. And that one specific human being who existed only once in all of the infinity of time and space, that human being was my friend. But he's not coming back, no matter how much I want him to. So, all I can do in the end is keep working, because that specificity, that uniqueness of people, of real people, is worth preserving. where you go. I feel like that's probably not the right solution for that. Yeah, maybe it is, who knows? What do I know? not made for me. Fan sucks. Yeah, 
God damn it, I'm not tall enough. This does, but I like it. still.
My child, you may go freely to all the worlds of my garden. But if the tower tempts you, be wise. Do not let yourself be misled by doubt. Motherfucker, how long has my mic been muted? It happened again. <laughs> I hate myself. Ah, that's infuriating. Since you left second floor tower. Oh, okay, so I've only been muted for like a minute or so. Troubleshooting my sound for a while. Alright, well, I'll have to look back on that. That's wonderful, though. Anyway, I'm going to throw up my BRB screen real quick, and then I'll get Hades set up, and then I'll uh, refill my drink, and then come back, and we'll play some Hades. So, see you guys in a bit. Let me find some music to throw up while we're actually waiting for that. There we go. Listen to the one-shot soundtrack. Alright, be right back. <laughs> 